mute mute asan sir your mute sir you muted welcome back all right how is everything there good 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 how are you good okay let's now discuss with data types i just want to delete the data type folder that i created earlier and want to write data type data types another folder i created another folder okay and inside the data type i create the first data type is numbers now in numbers.py actually a rename i can rename also .py in in python numbers are numeric in every programming language number data types are numeric and data type numbers are three in python one is integer okay another one is float and we have another type of number that is called complex complex now this is for the first time we are hearing complex, complex data type, yeah right okay let's see um x is 100 say for example y is 9.5 or it can be 1.9.1 .1. and it can be also one j now this is called complex because it has number and string in reality we don't use that much okay. still just for interview purpose we have to remember this this is complex combination of number and character and any decimal is floats in any programming language this is called also floating but when we use it we write float and this is int meaning integer okay now can we say print x plus y is it possible yeah okay let's check don't just think okay do practical to execute it what do we have to do first we have to we have to create function step out from function then step into data types yeah. step into data types. data types all right now we can actually execute python python uh, name of the file is 
numbers dot pi. But it is coming. It is coming x plus y. X plus y? Yeah. The uh, not the first one. Because, because first one. Yeah. Ignoring the first one. This is J. Be, okay. Said, yeah. Now. Now. Now it will come the first two. Okay. Hundred. Yeah. Working. Nine point one. So we can actually uh, add number integer and floating and what about if you also think plus z x plus z Yeah, it will work too. It will print. Yeah. But you see. Yeah. It's just printing the values. It's not adding. Okay. Not adding. Yeah. It cannot not add adding. Because... Okay. Because it is complex. Yeah. It doesn't have actually a concrete value. Yeah. Okay. Anisar, clear? Oh, Anisar is watching video on iPhone. <laughs> okay, so remember how many data types in numbers? Three, integer, float, complex. complex. Okay. Now, Hmm. Let's create another file. And I think you, you are now comfortable using terminal, right? How we can create a new file. how we can create a new file. File? Yes, touch. I want to create a new file. Touch. Touch, touch and it will file be string. Name. Okay, name of the file will be string.py. <clears throat> Here it is. Before we go to string, hmm, how we can actually verify the type of the data. How we can verify. Do you remember? It has type function, right? Remember? Type mm -hmm. function. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no. No. Are you sure? Sure. But Maybe we can we... remember that we did before. But we did. Okay. Yeah, we did. That I. That we can remember. But... Friends. Then just use type function and just print x in the same way you can print y and print z and it will print you the type Oh, sorry. It will be Python numbers dot pi. See, the first one is integer. Second one is floats 
and third one is complex. Mm -hmm. So these are silly questions, but in the interview, you can be asked how you can verify data types, how you can be sure what type of data it is. I can check with type function. Answer is I can use type function. Check with type function. To like check. check. Okay. Clear? No. String. You know very well string. Same as any programming language. Okay. Uh, first name is Rotten. Last name is Muhammad. Right? Um, name is first name plus first name. Friends, my name is concatenation. Name. It will be Python string dot py, right? My name is Rotan Mohammed. All right. So this is string. Very familiar. Okay. Now we are going to work with Boolean. So touch bool.py. And we know Boolean is nothing but data types Boolean. True and false. We can, usually we use with function. You can say A equal to 500 be equal to um, 20. So for example, def, or you can use also um, if else, <laughs> if a is, b is greater than a, print this block of code, prints, B True. is greater, or you can say it is true. Okay, or you can say when you are saying another argument, it will go out of the if block. You can say else, this is else block. And it will be also indented because when we are taking another argument, if block is up to here, this is if block and this is else block. different block, okay? So there are two block. We we say block of code. So 
So this is if block and this is else block. Okay. Now, let me erase it. Actually, Python thinks a little differently than JavaScript. Okay, we are building blocks. Now, else, okay, prints it is false. Um, which block will be printed? If or else? Yeah. If block or else block, which will be printed? Is there a damn yeah. It will be printed yeah. or yeah. this? It's true. Else. If. If. So oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Else. Else. OK. So yeah, it else. will be printed. Printed, yeah. No, tell me. But we did. We don't need the indentation for print because yeah, print. We need the indentation. We need indentation. That's yeah, that's very important. Okay. Now so I willingly put unindented. Mm. Okay. Now it will work. Remember, it should be within the block and indented always, indented. because Python. In Python, indentation, indentation is must. <sighs> we don't use it just for clean coding that we do in other programming language, clean coding. Okay, but in Python, we do it because it is a role and you must follow it. Okay, now just say Python. It is false, okay? It is false. Now, if you don't follow the indentation rule, it cannot execute. It's a indentation error. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Indentation error expected and indented block. Clear? Mm -hmm. All right. So Boolean gone. Now what next? Lists, right? List. Yeah. Okay, now I can just say touch lists dot pi okay list as check guests are list as check list okay fine Just clear it. Lists, you can say my list. And this is data type, remember? Data type. And type is lists. Again. You know, I can say my list. Actually, name can be anything. Name doesn't matter. And list comes with 
Round bracket, right? Round bracket? Round bracket. No. No. Square bracket. Square mm. bracket. Square bracket. Square bracket. Square bracket. Remember. Okay, my list, it can be any list. It can be string, it can be number, okay? Anything. Okay. It can be list of fruits, this list of student, teachers, whatever. Professor, Anisur, German. It can be Dr. LVZ. Uh, it can be uh, scientists. Scientists. Yeah. Uh, what is his name? The, Father yeah. of the uh, physicists, Albert Einstein. 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 Okay. I don't know. Exact. Uh, exact spelling. Okay. And if you print, what will you print? My list. My list. Perfect. Actually, now just go um, Python. lists.py Professor Ernest Rahman, Dr. Elvizi, scientist Einstein. I always say three people work together, you know? Sorry? The Professor Ernest Rahman, L, Dr. Elvizi, and the scientist and right. staff. Right. The three good friends. Okay. It can be teachers' lists. Okay. Or it can be students' lists, or it can be only students. But when you see square brackets, you have to understand it is lists, not yes. tuple. Okay. Clear? Clear. Okay. okay, great. Now, these are interview questions. What is lists? List is? Yeah, data type. Data, data types type. in Python. Python. And it comes with square brackets. Square bracket. And the datas are changeable. You can change data, okay? Mm. Comes with square brackets. Square brackets. Changeable. Data changeable. Uh, changeable. Two characteristics only. No. Let's see. Touch in tuples. Dot pi. Actually. Some people pronounce it tuple, some pronounce tuples. Tuple. You can, I think both are correct, okay? No. Unchangeable. Yes. Now we are discussing tuples. Tuples are- Round bracket. Coming with round brackets. Where is tuples, tuples? Okay. Data types in Python and it is tuples. Okay. Tuples comes with round bracket or parenthesis and it is Unchangeable. Change 
changeable, unchangeable. Just opposite to lists. Remember, we remember whatever you say, name, like you can say teachers, say lists. Don't think it is lists. Name is teachers lists, but since comes with the round bracket. Comes with round bracket. You have so, to understand it, it is, is not, list. not lists. It is tuples. Tuple. Remember? Yeah. Variable can be anything. Anything. Can, name can it be can anything. be list. It can be dictionary. Whatever you name it. But you have to understand by its to characteristics. Okay. You have to remember it by hook or by crook. If you need, you, ha you have to practice five times to remember it. Do it five times. If you need, you have to practice 10 times. Do it 10 times. But you have to understand the difference between lists, tuples, and sets. Dictionary is very different. You can remember it, but you will be confusing uh, among lists, oh, tuples, yes. and sets. Okay. Teachers can be doctor. Kabir Choudhury. Professor Patrulam. LVZ PST. Okay. No, Please just uh, you have to do it. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. We can do it together. Don't worry. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it's tuples, right? Two pulls. What's wrong? Tuples or tuples? Tuples? Maybe I didn't. Oh, I have to print it. Print teacher list. If it is confusing with list, yeah, then yeah. just just yeah. write teachers. Okay. okay. He, he, you forget does, to put doesn't S. matter. S now put the S. Teachers, it should be okay. teachers. All right. Clear. All right. Okay. okay. Now go with sets. Touch. sets.py in here is resets so it can be students and it will come with sets will come with color braces okay can, can you please remove the uh, line, whatever you draw on the screen? Uh, yeah. $100. Okay. Okay. All Thank right. You. Welcome. It can be 100 or oh, students. <laughs> Actually, it will be name, right? Uh, it can be all busy. It can be. Anisur, 
it can be Bob. Okay. All right. Just I have to print it now. Print. Very simple. Okay, now, how you can remember it? Comes with curly braces. Curly braces, and it is changeable. changeable. Okay, only two poles are unchangeable. So, so, easily you can remember it. Now, the last one, very important, touch. Dictionary. Dictionaries. Dot .py. Dictionaries dot .py. Or only dictionary. Okay, dictionaries, dictionaries, dictionaries. Okay, now, remember, most of the time you will be using dictionary in our Python um, data, especially in the um, backend. Most of the time we have to store data of the uh, uh, employees, their first name, last name, age, salary, ID number, email, Gmail, telephone number, address, everything will come in dictionary. Mm. So this is the most important data types, remember, okay? Mm. The prices of the products, you know, uh, everything. So, Always you have to, uh, you can say, my car. It comes with calibrases. Uh, just like sets, okay. Data types. Dictionary. Remember, the pronunciation is diction re, not nari, dictionary, missionary. There is no nari in English. Dictionary, missionary, missionary, seminary. Missionary. Yeah. <laughs> um, so no nari. No nari. No nari. And there is no shell in English, like confidential, Dictionary. essential, potential, potential, potential not shell. Potential. Okay. Remember. Dictionary. Dictionary, it comes with key pairs. Oh, it's a key pair. Key pairs, key pairs okay. in key in key value pairs. Okay, and curly braces, right? So remember, it comes even name we put inside the quotation, right? Name, say for name is brand name. I can say brand my car. 
Mr. going to give me Honda, right? Honda. Okay. Then don't forget to put comma after every data, especially in dictionary. If you don't, if you forget to put comma, it will say syntax error. No, it will not be executed. Yeah. Uh, twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one, latest one, and uh, it can be year. Okay, or price. Color. Model, model to show you have it. Model should not be twenty twenty one. Should be the. Prius. This is actually, actually this is CRB. Yeah. RCRB. And the year will be that 2021. Yeah, that's fine. And okay. the color will be the silver. All right. 100K. Color. Silver color. Silver. And at the end, don't put comma. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. And if you want to put comma, then you have to have another. Another one. Another one. Yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, predictive model. Model to Jagger Lexan. Okay. Yeah. Engine V6. 2021. 2021. And the model last year will be the Engine V6. V6. This is complex, right? Ah, right. Mm. Yeah, very good. The V6 snack will have a complex stuff. I love it. And remember, if you put double correction, always put you have to put double correction. Everywhere. If you put single, always single. You cannot mix, you cannot mix it. Right? Just mm. to replace. Touch with Python. If you are using, um, if you are using um, Mac operating system, you have to write Python three in place of Python to execute it. Okay, you have to write Python three. What's wrong? We space double the. Where is the print? Python is space is oh, space. Oh, we didn't print it. We have oh, to yeah. print it. Okay. So print my car. My car. Is there double spaces? Yes. Oof. Oof. Cool. See? Model this is. Any question? So it's easy, but you cannot remember <laughs> unless you practice. And always, I suggest you to, before you practice, even before you practice, 